How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're in a battle versus CG in the Smogon Overuse tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle, and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, CG. So they're going to lead off with Everlast, the uh, Cinderace, as we led off with our Bruxish. So right off the bat, I don't want to go for a flip turn because they could Sucker Punch, which is a very much possibility. They either Sucker Punch or they switch out into the likes of the Registeel or the Curem. So what I'm going to do here is expecting a Sucker Punch or a Curem switch. I think, no, I don't think, I think they probably go for a U-turn, to be honest with you. I don't think they go for a Sucker Punch. So I'm going to go for a flip turn because we do outspeed thanks to the Choice Scarf. There we go. They didn't go for a Sucker Punch, which is great. We get some nice damage off on the Cinderace. But anyway... If you want to see more high-quality daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles like this one, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And with that being said, let's just go into our Donphan real quick. <clears throat> if Donphan get burnt, I'm not too bothered, but I don't think they'll burn. I think they U-turn here. So we can get some Rocky Helmet chip, which would be nice. And um, they do go for the burn, which is unfortunate. So Donphan does get burned, but it's not the end of the world. If we can get the Stealth Rocks up, we will be golden. We will be golden. So, um, getting the Stealth Rocks up is going to be really important. Let's just go straight for them. They go for a U-turn, which means they're going to get some Rocky Helmet chip, unfortunately, for them. Um, as down, nearly down goes the Cinderace. One more Rocky Helmet chip and it's gone. If that thing's not heavy duty boots, then these Stealth Rocks are going to KO on the next switch in as long as the Great Tusk can't do anything. So they're going to Vatsalax, the Great Friend, which is their shiny Great Tusk. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. We go for a Stealth Rock and Don Fan is just sat here, like, really intimidated by this Great Tusk. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, what we can do here is, uh, we can switch out into Corviknight. Corviknight can definitely handle this Great Tusk, no problem though. So that's exactly what we'll do. They probably go for a Rapid Spin here, um, but that's fine. We can definitely still take a hit from this um, this thing anyway, so it's not big at the end of the world. So Corviknight comes in, they go for a knockoff, which is going to knock off our other Rocky Helmet. I have Rocky Helmet on Corviknight and Don Van because I'm like, you know what? I'm, it's just a stop U-turn spam mainly, but also because I kind of forgot to take Rocky Helmet off of the uh, Corviknight. I was meant to put leftovers on it, so... Anyway, they have leftovers, which is good to know. Um, they probably switch out here because they can't really do anything to us. So I am going to go for... Well, no, they might want a Rapid Spin. I think I go for Brave Bird because it hits everything pretty hard on their team. Like Getting the Brave Bird damage off is going to be really important anyway. Um, so they go into Nexus Pulse, which is going to be the Registeel. It's nice and shiny as well, even though you can't really tell in this stadium because of the blue light, which is a shame. Brave Bird comes through, and that's going to do nothing, obviously. But we do have the Body Press. Um, they aren't Rocky Helmet by the looks of it, which is good to know. They are leftovers. So what we can do here is with Corviknight, I know this Registeel can't really touch us. They probably want to set up Stealth Rocks or something. So I'm going to go for a Body Press just to get damage on the Registeel, really. Um, as that doesn't even do nearly as much as I would like it to do. They go for a Thunder Wave, though, and that is unfortunately going to make us paralyzed. However, every cloud has, every cloud has a silver lining. So what we can do here is we can now get a slow U-turn on the Registeel, which would be really nice. Um, so if they switch out, they switch out. If they don't, they don't. Let's go for that slow U-turn real quick. They go for an Iron Defense, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So that is unfortunate they got the Iron Defense off. We go for a U-turn, bounces right off the Registeel. But it does get us a free switch in. So let's see what we can switch into without getting paralyzed now. Um, I'd say Mothra is probably the best way to deal with this. Flamethrower from the Dragapult or Iron Moth. I don't want to use the I don't want to use the Quark Drive just yet. Because it'd be Quark Drive in speed. I kind of want to go Dragapult, but Dragapult could be really useful. Outspeeds everything on the team. And that QRM as well is going to be a pain. I think we have to go Mothra here. So we'll go into Mothra.bot. There we go. Nice and powerful. And we get that booster energy and speed, which is great and all. I hope. Oh, no. We got special attack. Yeah, we special attack. That's right. right, right. Never mind. I, I didn't know what I was talking about then. I completely forgot what my booster energy was set to. It was special attack because it wanted more raw power. Um, so anyway... Knowing that they're probably going to Terra here, I should still go for a Fiery Dance, right? Because they have they have to switch out. I am off to so much work against their team as well. Let's go for a Fiery Dance. Um, there we go. Fiery Dance comes through. It, they're not going to Terra. They're just going to let the Registeel go down. Nearly go down. As we get a special type boost, which is nice. But they're going to paralyze us. They go for a Body Press, which after the Iron Defense is still going to do under half, which is amazing for us. So that's great and all. And we can take out the Registeel the next turn, or they switch out one of the two. I think it's going to be... I think if the, if they switch out, they're going to go into Kyurem. If they switch out, or they sack off the Cinderace. So I'll finish it off with a Dazzling Gleam, just in case. There we go, Dazzling Gleam comes through. 
Just in case they went into Kyurem. Just in case they went into Kyurem. But they obviously haven't. So Registeel goes down, which is great. So their one non-OU Pokemon has gone down, <laughs> finally. Everless comes back in the Cinderace. We did get the Stealth Rocks up, but I'm guessing they're boots. And they are boots. We do outspeed, I believe. Let me have a look real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we outspeed, but they might go for a Sucker Punch. Court Change. Oh, so they go for Court Change. So at least we get rid of the Cinderace here, which is great and all. Um, so we go for a Fiery Dance, get rid of the Cinderace. And Iron Moth is putting in the work right now, which is cool. Um, but it's not the Pokemon I want to put in work, that's for sure. So Cinderace gets the Court Change off, so the Stealth Rocks are on our side of the field. But we do have Don Fun in the back, who can definitely put some work in. So let's see what they go into next. Darkrai comes in. I'm guessing it's Focus Sashed. Has to be Focus Sashed, right? That's why they brought it in. It's got to be. Um, so we Dazzling Gleam here all the time. They go for a Dark Pulse. Nearly takes us out. Dazzling Gleam comes through. Will that take out the Dark Ride? It does cleanly take out the Dark Ride. I am Moth putting in the work right now. However, Ribombe can come in and finish us off. No problem. That thing's probably focused, Sash. That's for sure. So Okami comes in. The Kyurem. So Kyurem is an interesting choice. I'm going to guess that they're going to Terra here. Maybe Terra Steel. So I'm going to go for the Fiery Dance. Um, they do Terra. Let's see if we predicted right. Let's see if we predicted the, the uh, Steel Terra. That'd be amazing if we did. So Kyurem is going to go into a... Oh, it's a Ground type. Oh, so I guess we still made the correct play because we got the Stab bonus. Let's just see if I'll actually take it out, though. I don't think it will take it out, to be honest with you, but... It's only, it's only like plus one and a half. Yeah, it doesn't take out the Kyurem, unfortunately, as they're able to go for a Dragon Dance and scare the ever-loving Christ out of me, which is terrifying. So, Kyurem is a threat right now. I can't risk them going for another Dragon Dance, so I'm going to have to let them take me down with Scale Shot, which is really unfortunate. So, do the real question is, do we have priority on this team? Because they are now at plus two speed. That Kyurem has now become a big threat. However, however, it may be it may be plus two speed, but it is minus defenses. So um, I think personally we can go into Scrafty. I think Scrafty's a perfect Pokemon. Or Donphan's Ice Shot, but I don't think Ice Shot will care with a burn. So I think Scrafty's a perfect Pokemon because we do have the intimidate. So we'll go into Kerrang. If anyone gets that nickname reference, you're cool. Um so Kerrang comes in. We get the Intimidate off, which is always well and good. And uh, we could sit here and bulk up and go Terra Fairy. Scrafty could do this for us. Scrafty could definitely do this for us. I think we do that and we bulk up. I think we Terra Fairy bulk up. I think that is the way to go here. So we Terra Fairy. That way they can't go for a um, scale shot right now, which they probably do go for. Or, but they could go for an Icicle Spear, but I think they go for a scale shot. I think they go for a scale shot because at the end of the day, I've brought Scrafty in because it gets the Intimidate off. That's probably what they're thinking. Icicle Spear. But it does no damage, which is good. I mean, if it's loaded dice, which I'm assuming it is, then that is a clean two at KO for all five times. If we didn't get a bulk up up here. Maybe I should have gone straight for the Drain Punch. Probably. I tried bulking up, but it's not going to work. So we got the attack and defense boost at least. And uh, we do have leftovers, which are going to pop. So I'm pretty confident we can take another Scale Shot from this thing. Or an Ice Cusp here, sorry. Not Scale Shot. We can definitely take a Scale Shot. Um, so I'm going to go for a Drain Punch just to get that um, recovery back. They go for a Terra Blast, Terra Ground. It's not going to KO Scrafty, I don't think, at plus one defense. It doesn't It doesn't KO the Scrafty at plus one defense. We go for a Drain Punch. And Scrafty actually does something, which is cool. So we got the Bulk Up. I don't think it's enough to take a hit from the Ribombe or the Great Tusk, though. We might be able to take a Moonblast from Ribombe because we are fully specially defensive. And we are neutral to fair at Moonblast. Um, but I don't think we can take on that Great Tusk. I, I have a feeling we might be able to... <laughs> Depends on the Great Tusk set. If it's a bulk up set, we can Iron Punch it. Uh, ice Punch it, which would be cool. So in comes Nectaria. The uh, Ribombe. So I don't think Ribombe can take a hit from us. I'm going to go for the Drain Punch though. It's not very effective. Four times we, four times not very effective. I'm going to go for an Ice Punch here because I know Scrafty can do this. So we're going for Moonblast. We're going to live this. No problem. There we go. I knew it would live. Scrafty came through. But the Ice Punch does no damage, which is unfortunate. But we broke a Focus Ash. So now it's all down to Bruxish. Bruxish can definitely win this for us. So we go for another Ice Punch here. They probably go for a Moonblast. There's the Moonblast. And Choice Scarfed, Bruxish is definitely going to be able to finish off this game for us, I'm hoping. I'm hoping Wave Crash, it can KO the Great Tusk with. 
I'm really hoping it can. Um, so let's go for it. Let's go into the Brooksish. Look at my team. Like, I've got Burn Donphan. I've got Paralyzed Corviknight. Let's go Brooksish. Let's go Brooksish. Damn, if we'd have got that bulk up up and they went for scale shot and cure him, we would have been able to go for another bulk up, which would have been amazing. Um, so anyway, Wave Crash is going to come through right now. There we go. Wave Crash comes through. Psychic Fangs might have been better, actually. I'm not sure which one does the more damage. Strong Georgie boosted with a Psychic Fangs or a Wave Crash. They're both stab and they're both super effective on the Great Tusk. I guess I guess it doesn't matter as long as, as long as we get the KO, right? So in comes the Great Tusk, which is great and all. Absolutely great, that is. And we go for a wave crash. We go for a wave crash because why not? There we go. Boom. Doesn't even do... Oh, wow. That's a defensive Great Tusk if I've ever seen one. They go for a knockoff. They're going to knock off our item. And it reveals that we are choice scarfed. As Brookshish does go down. So Brookshish finished off the Ribombe at least. Scrafty finished off the QRM. Um, you know, Brookshish was only able to finish off the Ribombe because of the Scrafty. But I don't think that makes either of them thumbnail worthy. So we'll have to see what happens in the bonus game. Uh, but now we can freely go into Dragapult. Dragapult can finish off this game with a Draco Meteor or Shadow Ball. I am going to go for the Shadow Ball because I don't want to miss. So there we go. We go for a Shadow Ball. It's choice specs. It's definitely going to KO this great Tusk right now as down it goes. And that's going to be the game. So GGCG, that was a pretty fun one. That was a very fun one. Now onto the bonus battle. And it's time for a bonus battle. Today we're having our bonus battle versus... I'm, I'm going to butch this pronunciation. Poof. So that was, that's the opponent. Look at the teams though. That, that guy's got a, um, a Venusaur. Hit him on top. That's pretty cool to see. And the Empoleon's cool to see as well. But anyway, with all that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, poof. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. In comes the Venusaur. It's a female as well with a big old seed in its flower. We lead off with Brooksish. So we could Psychic Fangs right off the bat, but they more than likely switch into Empoleon here. So I'm going to go for the flip turn. I think that's the best way to go. They either go for the Empoleon or the Terror. I don't think they'll Terror this early. Um, but as usual, if you want to see more high-quality daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles like this one, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Let's go for a flip turn and get on out of there. So they do withdraw the Venusaur probably into the Empoleon, if I had to guess. Commodore, the historic genius. I haven't heard that one before. That's pretty cool. And we go for a flip turn. Get on out of there. We do a nice bit of chip damage to them, which is great. Considering that's four times resisted. No, it's not four times resisted. Considering that's resisted on an Empoleon, that did a lot of damage. So... What do we do? I'm leaning towards the Scrafty. To be honest with you, Scrafty does really well. Really, really, really well. I think I'm going to go Scrafty. I'm going to get Scrafty to put some work in right now. Because here's the thing, right? Scrafty um, gets the Intimidate off, which is going to activate the Competitive, which is a dumb play by Jack right there. Damn. Um, that was a really dumb play, Jack. So now, they've got plus two special attack. However... Scrafty is fully special defensive, and they probably don't have a flying coverage move on there. So I'm going to go for the Drain Punch just to get some damage off and get some health back. They do withdraw, though, because they see the bad matchup. And they're going to go into what exactly? The uh, Saw the Royal. So Venusaur comes back in. That thing's a threat. We go for a Drain Punch, though. That's going to do a nice bit of chip damage. Not too much, though. Not too much, though. Um, what is Venusaur going to be doing, though? It's Leftovers, which is interesting. So are they going to be a Subseed set? I don't know. I have no idea. So let's go for a knockoff first and foremost. Just to get rid of the item, the leftovers are going to be annoying. Um, they go for a knockoff of the own, which is going to knock off our leftovers, which is unfortunate. But we are going to, you know, go back and knock off their leftovers in return. So um, that did a lot more damage than the Drain Punch, which is great. Just great. So what do we do here? Are they going to be a... Um, should we go for an Ice Punch? I think we should go for an Ice Punch because they're going to Leech Seed. Yeah, so we can't set up on them. I just want to see whether the Leech Seed or not, and then we'll just switch out. Or we can go for an Ice Punch, one of the two. So we go for an Ice Punch. It's going to do a nice bit of chip damage to the Venusaur. They get some uh, Leech Seed back, which means we can't KO with the next one. And they could very well synthesize here. They could there we go for the Synthesis. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch out. And I'm leaning towards... If they're going to go for a knockoff, I'm leaning towards the uh, Corviknight. So I'm going to go Corviknight real quick, because they could go for another knockoff expecting us to switch. Or they could go for a synthesis, like I said before. So we'll bring in Corviknight, like so. There we go. Corviknight comes in. They go for the Giga Drain, which is going to do diddly squat to my Corviknight. So that's great and all. That Venusaur is dedicated to getting health back. But it hasn't got leftovers anymore, which is great. So now, uh, looking at the team, I'd say our best bet would probably be Brave Bird. Because it hits everything pretty hard. So let's go for a Brave Bird real quick. So they go for a Leech Seed, which is interesting. Let's see if Brave Bird gets the KO. Let's see if Brave Bird gets the KO. I'm guessing they're physically defensive by the way they've stayed in. But then again, that knockoff and Ice Punch did a bit too much for physically defensive, I'd say. 
So Braybird gets a crit. I don't think the crit mattered at the health that it was at, to be honest with you, because Corviknight's got some, you know, not not amazing attack, but it's decent. It is Brave Bird. It's a base 120 power move, so I think it KOs anyway. In comes the Commodore, the Empoleon. So this thing is a threat to my Corviknight, that is for sure. So I do want to switch out. I want to go into Brooksish. I really do. Um, They probably go for a flip turn, if anything. I think I'm going to switch out into uh, Brooksish. I would U-turn, but... There is a good chance that they go for a, you know, there is a good chance that they can do a lot of damage to Corviknight with a Hydro Pump. So, Bruxish is probably the better option for us. So, let's do it. They go for a Surf. Let's see how much damage it does to Bruxish. Nah, not enough damage, I'm afraid. As now we can freely go for a Crunch. And Crunch actually hits pretty much everything on their team pretty hard. Um, So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go for... Oh, I'm going to go for the Crunch because I think they stay in. They do stay in. We go for a Crunch. That's doing a solid amount of damage. But they have knockoff on their Empoleon, which does unfortunately get rid of our Choice Scarf. So, Bruxish is not doing too much this game. To the point where I'm tempted to go for a Wave Crash right now. Or another Crunch. I think Crunch will do more. Or we could Flip Turn. We could still use this to take out the, the Galarian Slowbrow. And to an extent, the Great Tusk with uh, Wave Crash or Psychic Fangs. So, I think I will Flip Turn here. Um, we Flip Turn. There we go. Still does a decent chunk of damage to them. Um, Flipton does a lot of damage, you know, compared to Crunch. It does a lot of damage. Uh, so what do we do here? I, I want to say Scrafty, but again, the Intimidate thing. The Intimidate thing. So now I'm, I'm leaning towards... If they're going to go for another knockoff to take us out, we should go Corviknight. I think Corviknight is the answer. Because based on that Surf damage that they did to us, we don't have to worry too much about this Empoleon's offensive prowess. They do go for a Roost, which is fine. But now that we know that they're not specially offensively orientated, otherwise that Surf would have done more to a Bruxish, because Bruxish is very frail. Um, we know that they're probably probably specially defensive, if I had to guess. So I'm going to go for a Body Press here. I think Body Press will do a lot to the Empoleon. I think it should be able to get the KO. Uh, not the KO, the, the 2 KO, I think. Um, so they do withdraw. They're obviously fearing the Body Press, which makes a lot of sense. Are they going to go Dragapult? Hard Hat. Who's Hard Hat? Slow King. So Slow King is going to come through. We go for a body press though. That does nothing as you would expect. And they are leftovers, which is good to know. So what can we do here? I think they go for a chilly reception or a future site personally. So I'm going to go for a U-turn. And um, there we are U-turning out. And I think the best thing we can go into is going to be the Scrafty. Personally. I think Scrafty is the way to go. So I'm going to bring Scrafty in like so. We don't have to intimidate the Empoleon now because we're going to get it out of the way here. And they're either going to go for a Chili Reception, which they do, or a Future Sight. They go for a Chili Reception now. And that's going to make it snow, which is fine. Snowing isn't really an issue for my team. Um, but it does get them a free switch in, which is unfortunate for us. So what are they going to go into to take on Scrafty? I'd say Hitmontop. Because it'll have the Intimidate. And it can close combat us because we're dark type. Happy Feet, the historic geniuses. That's got to be um, him on top. Yeah. You know what else would be cool? Happy Feet would have been a really cool nickname for the Empoleon as well. Just just far further in there. Um, they're not Intimidate though, which is good to know. So we could, in theory, tear a fairy bulk up here. I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it for the, for the Scrafty meme. I'm going to do it for the Scrafty meme. So we'll tear a fairy like so. There we go. Tear a fairy. Gives us a nice resistance to the fighting type close combat that could be coming. They could have bullet punch. Yes, that is a that is a thing. But it won't do much damage after a bull cup, that's for sure, even super effectively. So they go for a mock punch, which is going to do no damage. We then get up a uh, bull cup, which is great. And the fact that they weren't intimidate on the hit on top is amazing for us. Because we can just sell bull cups galore right now. As uh, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for another Bull Cup. They, they they probably switch out here into the Empoleon if I had to guess. So they're going to terrestrialize themselves. Are they going to go Terra Steel? I doubt it. But if they go Terra Fairy, then that's going to warm me completely. Terra Steel. So what? Are they going to have Terra Blast? There's no way. There's no way they have Terra Blast on this thing. Or it probably Bullet Punch. Yeah, but, uh, it's Bullet Punch. It's Technician as well because it didn't have the Intimidate. So this is going to sting a little bit. But, after a second bulk up, I reckon we can take one more of those. I really reckon we can take one more of those, KO this thing with a Drain Punch and get all our health back. I'm hoping anyway. Let's go for the Drain Punch real quick. So they withdraw Happy Feet. What are they going to go into though? That's the real question. Are they going to go Dragapult? Speedy, that's the Dragapult for sure. Yeah, Dragapult comes in. We go for that Drain Punch, which isn't going to do much damage. 
doesn't do anything to uh, poor old Scrafty, uh, to poor old um, Dragapult. So let's go for a knockoff. I'm pretty confident we can live a Shadow Ball. Um, unless there's Specs, in which case it probably KOs. Yeah, it KOs. We are specially defensive, which is why I thought maybe we'd be able to live. But once again, Scrafty is failing miserably here. Yeah. We did force the Terror on the him on top, which is great and all. Um, but they just really, they really didn't want to give us that leftover, that Drain Punch recovery, which makes a lot of sense. So, um, now what? We're, we're face to face with a Shadow Ball dra uh, Dragapult with no Choice Scarf user. And if the Choice Specs, it KOs the... Um, it KOs that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Donphan. I think Donphan is the play here because Earthquake hits everything on the team super hard except from the Great Tusk. So let's go for an Earthquake and then we'll follow up with an Ice Shard. They do withdraw Speedy. What are they going to go into to take an Earthquake there? That's the real quick. They might expect the knockoff as well. They go into Clay, which is probably the Great Tusk. It is the Great Tusk. We go for an EQ. That's going to do no damage to the Great Tusk, obviously, um, which is fine and all. Uh, now, we can probably go into Corviknight here, which is what I'm going to do. They more than likely go for either a Bulk Up here, or they go for a Rapid Spin to get a Speed Boost. So, let's see what they do first and foremost. So, they go for a Knock Off, which would have definitely KO'd my uh, Bruxish. And um, they knock off a Rocky Helmet, but that in turn does some chip damage to them. Um, as now, we can go for a U-turn, so that's exactly what I'm going to do, because they more than likely switch out here into Empoleon. So they withdraw, which is great. We get a we get a good U-turn off on, which is great. And they're going to go into Hard Hat, which is going to be the Slow King. So we go for that U-turn, get on out of there. And now we can go into Bruxish, and we can just fire off a Crunch. Crunch will do a lot of damage to this thing, may even KO it. Um, but Bruxish can definitely come in here, that's for sure. So in comes the Bruxish. And that crunch is definitely going to sting something right now. Probably going to be a switch out, if I had to guess. I'd say into hit him on top. So they can mock punch us. So I'm going to go for that crunch right now. Because it'll still hurt the hit him on top regardless. We go for the crunch. It's going to do a lot of damage. Doesn't quite get enough for the KO, but it's still good damage. They go for a psychic, and that is going to definitely take us out. So Bruxish goes down. Resisted hit or not, we're still not taking it that HP. So Bruxish does go down. So, I tried to get Scrafty and Bruxish to work in this game, but they just didn't. <laughs> they just didn't. Scrafty just failed miserably. If I'd have predicted the Dragapult to come in then, that would be cool, but I thought they would go for a Bullet Punch to try and get the KO. So, uh, and unfortunately, we are Booster Energy in Special Attack, which speed would have been really useful here. Um, but looking at the rest of that team, I'd say Shadow Ball from Dragapult hurts everything super hard. So, let's go for it. Let's go into Dragapult and we'll start doing some damage. I think Dragapult could very well be the MVP of this game. Um, based on the matchup. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball because they've already terrored, so they can't do anything really other than switch out into maybe the Empoleon. So they let the Slow King go down, which makes a lot of sense. Down it goes to a Shadow Ball. Now here's the real question. Are they going to risk the Speed Tie with the Dragapult or are they going to go into Hit on top for Sucker Punch or are they going to go Empoleon to fire off an Ice Beam? Commodore comes in because the thing is Empoleon can live a Shadow Ball and it might get a special attack boost if we get a special defense drop. Um, which I don't want, so I definitely don't want that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my Corviknight. Corviknight seems like a good option. There we go. Dragapult, go away. And in comes the Corviknight. I think this battle is going to come down to a speed tie with the two Dragapults, personally. So they go for a knockoff, which would have definitely done a lot of damage to my Dragapult. Um, nothing to Corviknight, obviously. Now we can go for a Body Press or a U-turn. I'm leaning towards a Roost, though. Um, I'm leaning towards a Roost. Because here's the thing, if we can... I think we go for a Roost. That, that, that's me, personally. I think we go for a Roost. Because they're probably going to go Dragapult expecting a Body Press. They do stay in, though, as we go for that Roost. Let's see what they go for here. Probably the Surf, if I had to guess. Stealth Rocks. Okay, so Stealth Rocks are going to hurt my Iron Moth, which means now, um, if Dragapult does come in, then we're kind of screwed. So, um, let's go for a Body Press now, because they probably expect a U-Turn. They probably expected a U-turn there, which is why this body press is going to do a clean 55%. They go for a Surf. That's going to easily KO. No, no, no not even to it KO. The Corviknight. So, so this battle is actually pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this battle so far. It's pretty good. It's, it's been a while since I battled Poof. Um, again, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So, do we go for a body press or do we go for a U-turn? They might predict us to go for a U-turn, expecting the Dragapult to go in. So, I think I'm going to go for the safe play of body press. They do withdraw, though. What are they going to go into? Is it going to be the Dragapult? Speedy comes in. That's the Dragapult. So, Speedy Gonzalez is here. We go for that body press, which is obviously not going to do anything. 
Now, do we keep Corviknight around? I think we do have to keep Corviknight around. I think our least valuable Pokemon right now is going to be the Iron Moth. So I'm going to go into the Iron Moth. I really don't think Iron Moth's going to be useful for us here because if they drop a, if they go for a Flamethrower here, it's not going to KO. And we can get that a free attack off pretty much. So let's go into Iron Moth. Stealth Rocks are going to dig in. They do go for a... What are they going to go for? We get the Booster Energy and Special Attack, obviously, like we did in last game. Let's see what they go for. They go for a Flamethrower. So that's not going to 2-hit KO, as I don't think. No, it doesn't. Definitely doesn't. And we can go for a Dazzling Gleam here if we really want to. I'm leaning more... I, I think they're Choice Specs, so I'm going to go for a Fiery Dance. So they go for a Dragon Knots. They're not Choice Specs. Okay. So Mothra does go down. That's fine, though. I intended for it to go down anyway. It's good to know they're not Choice Specs, though. Oh, wait. No, we saw the Life Orb already. Never mind. Um, so now we go Donphan. We 100% always go Donphan here. We definitely go Donphan. We need to go for an Earthquake straight away. And if they bring the Great Tusk in, we go for a Rapid Spin. So let's go for a Earthquake straight away, like I say. So they withdraw Speedy. They know that that's going to be their win condition. Um, and they're going to go into Clay once again, the Great Tusk. So that's fine. Great Tusk comes in. We go for another EQ, which is going to do no damage. But they haven't got recovery. They probably go for a knockoff here, which is going to give them some Rocky Helmet chip damage. So I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin. They go for a Body Press, though, which is going to do no damage to Donphan. Gets the Rocky Helmet chip, and then we get a free Rapid Spin off, which means we should outspeed them the next turn to be able to go for a um, an Earthquake, because they are defensive Great Tusk by the looks of it. So let's go for an Earthquake real quick. We should outspeed thanks to the Rapid Spin. We do. And this is why Donphan is better than Great Tusk. Clickbait title right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Um, but Great Tusk goes down to the Don Fan for enough. And now they can safely go into whatever they want. Speedy comes back in. This is probably their only way of taking out Don Fan is with this thing because we now outspeed the Empoleon and the Him on top. So I think we have to go for an Earthquake Ice Shard combination, which is what I'm going to do. They go for a Shadow Ball. I don't think it KOs Don Fan here. It doesn't, which is great. They do get the Special Defense drop, but they get some Life Orb Recall, which is great. And we get an Earthquake off. So now Ice Shard should finish this thing off. It does. Earthquake finishes it off. I don't think Earthquake would finish it off, to be honest with you, because we're fully defensive. But you know what? Dragapult going down. Donphan coming through right now is actually clutch AF. So in comes the Hitmon top, which is going to prioritize us um, and do all of its thing that it does. So I'm going to go for an Ice Shard just for a bit of chip, because we might outspeed thanks to Rapid Spin. We do. Ice Shard comes through, and then they go straight for a Mark Punch, which is going to take us out. But we do get some Rocky Helmet chip on them, which is always nice as well. As uh, Donphan does go down, but Donphan is definitely the MVP of this game. <laughs> Did they not get Chip? Oh, they must have the uh, Punching Glove item. That's probably what they have. Um, so now we can go straight into our Dragapult. We can go straight for a Flamethrower. They probably have Sucker Punch. But we should be able to take the Sucker Punch, no problem. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into... Um, I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. There's no reason not to. They go for a Sucker Punch. It's not going to KO us because the Punching Glove doesn't actually affect Sucker Punch. Because Sucker Punch isn't classed as a Punching Move because it's Japanese name is of course that didn't even KO. That's a really annoying. So Dragapult is not gonna win us the game. So we go for a, we go for another fire uh, flamethrower. So Sucker Punch's Japanese name is Sneak Attack. So it's not actually a punching move. So we go for a flamethrower. They don't go for a Sucker Punch, which is interesting. They probably expected us to switch into Corviknight there. A little bit of an overprediction on their part, but you know sometimes when you uh, you know when you're backed into a corner by like a Dragapult. You do have to make those ballsy plays just in case, but they obviously, they could have probably pulled off something there. So um, I definitely would have gone for like a bullet punch at least um, just to finish us off. No, not finish us off, but you know, do some damage. But anyway, Empoleon comes in. We definitely go for a flamethrower here um, because Corviknight can finish this thing off with a body press. So we get the uh, flamethrower off. They go for a roost. So that's unfortunate. Um, they probably roost all the way back up to full. But we know body press 2, it KOs them, so it's not the end of the world. All we need to do is make sure we've got some damage off and that's it. So let's go for a flamethrower once again. And we'll let them take us out. So we go for another flamethrower. Bit of chip. They get a burn, which is nice, negates the leftovers. Um, and then they go for a surf, which isn't going to KO Dragapult, unfortunately, for them. Because um, Dragapult just has, you know, it's not, it's not that paper thin defenses to where it's going to lose to a surf in Polion. Um, but like I said, the burn negates the leftovers. So this is this is a pretty intense game that's come right down to the timer. And I love it when that happens. But the fact that it's the bonus battle and it's like a lot longer than the first battle is always funny. So we go for a flamethrower. They probably go for a roost. There we go. They go for the roost. They could have taken out that with a surf, but I don't think that that matters because I think Corviknight still wins with body press here. 
So even though they have the leftovers and all that, it's, it's, it's fine. So let's just see how this plays out. So we go for a flamethrower. This will be the final flamethrower, I'm afraid, as uh, they go for a surf to take us out. If we can get Corviknight in, we can finish the game with like 10 seconds left. So Dragapult goes down. Let's quickly pick Corviknight like so. They get the leftovers recovery and they get the burn first though, which is unfortunate. So um, 14 seconds. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Come on, 10 seconds. Corviknight, come on in. No, no, we're not going to dare to do it. All I need to do was go for body press and the battle ended. Can we go for the, can we get it? Time has run out, the battle's over. That is so annoying that the timer ran out just the last move. But oh well, it doesn't matter. GG Puff, uh, Poof, sorry. GG, I'm I'm, I might have pronounced it right when I said it wrong then, but I don't know. Um, I'm really bad at pronouncing names as we all know. So GG, anyway, that was a fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.